my lovely students in fourth primary. Now, as division is one of the important operations in mathematics, just like multiplication, with addition, with subtraction, we will learn how to solve division problems using more than one way. نتعلم أكثر من طريقة to solve the division. In the previous lesson, we learned the first way to solve the, the division problems, which is the area model strategy. In today's lesson, the partial quotients algorithm. We will learn about the partial quotients strategy and how to use it to solve the problems. Now, let's start by revising the area model strategy for division. We will do this in the activity model, match under access, page 311 in your school book. Let's see it all together. Here in page 311, as you see here, here we have two division problems. They're answered using the area model strategy. You are asked to write the equations. equations that match the area models. Now I'll give you time to write the division equation to match the model in problem number one. And don't forget to include the remainder. remainder When we are back, we will review the answers all together. And now let's review the equations you wrote in your books and then we can answer problem number two. Here, as you can see, the model in problem number one has three numbers. This is problem number one. Here I have three numbers. Il e 300 plus 60 and 18. The divisor is what? The divisor, as you see here, is six. So the quotients are what? The quotients are 50 with 10 and three. Type to find the dividend, what should I do? Yes, I will add the numbers inside the area model. Layer 300 plus 60 plus 18. Okay, let's add them. 300 plus 60 plus 18 equals what? Of course, the answer will be 378. Okay, type. What about if I want to find the quotient? I will add the numbers outside the area model, which are 50 plus 10 plus 3. If I add 50 plus 10 plus 3, the answer will be equals to 63. And this is the quotient number. So the equation will be what? 378 divided by 6. 378, the biggest number, divided by 6 equals to what? Yes, the quotient or the answer is 63. Now we will do the same in problem number two. Here's problem number two. I will add the numbers inside the model to find what? To find the dividend. So I will add 4,000 plus 1,200 plus 400 plus 28. The answer will be what? The answer will be 5,628. Type. But take care. There is, a pr uh, there is a remainder here. I have three remainder. So what should I do? I must add this remainder to the answer or to the dividend, okay? So what should I do? Hamel 5,628 plus the three, which is the remainder. So the answer will be 5,631. Don't forget to add the remainder to the dividend. Okay, what about the divisor? Here, as you see, the divisor is four. So to find the quotient, what should I do? Yes, I will add the numbers outside the area model, which are 1,000 plus 300 plus 100 plus 7. So the quotient is 1,407. And this is the quotient number. So what is my equation? Yes, I will write the biggest number, 5,631. Divided by what? By the divisor, which is 4, and the answer or my quotient is equal to 1,407. Type. What about the remainder? Yes, I have the remainder will be 3. Don't forget to write the remainder here. And this was a quick revision on the division using the area model strategy. Before you move to a new strategy, we will play a game altogether. Let's do it on the board. طيب دلوقتي أنا عايزة أسألكوا السؤال what is the opposite of addition? Yes, of course, the opposite of addition is subtraction. 
اوكي مالتيبليكيشن از ذا سيم از ريبيتد اديشن احنا عارفين المالتيبليكيشن هو نفسه ريبيتد اديشن سو وات از ديفيجن سيم از ديفيجن زيه زي ايه Excellent to the same as repeated subtraction. A multiplication as repeated addition, division as repeated subtraction. So, what does this mean? What does this mean? This means if I write 4 times 5, that will, what it will mean? Yes, it means that 5 repeated 4 times. Let's write this like If I wrote 4 times 5, it means what? It means that 5 repeated four times or four repeated five times. So I can write five plus five plus five plus five. Again, five repeated four times. So I can write five plus five plus five plus five. And this is because repeated addition is the same as multiplication. Now let's think about how multiplication is opposite of addition. In a division problem like 42 divided by 6, I want to 42 divided by 6. So, I can use repeated subtraction to solve it. How can I solve it by repeated subtraction? Now, let's have a look. We will subtract 6 from 42. We'll subtracting 6 until we see what we will get. So, I will start 42 to do 42 minus 6. 42 minus 6 equals what? Of course, 42 minus 6 equals 36. Again, I will subtract 6 from 36. So 36 minus 6 equals 30. Again, 30 minus 6. I will keep doing this, subtracting 6. So when I subtract 6 from 30, the answer is 24. And then again, 24 minus 6 will give me 18. Again, can I subtract? 6 from 18, yes, 18 minus 6, so the answer will be what? 18 minus 6, the answer will be 12. And then 12 minus 6 gives me another 6. Again, 6 minus 6 equals to 0. Now, how many times have we repeated subtraction? I didn't subtraction at E. Tell me, let's count, kid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So, 6 is subtracted 7 times. Why? Because 42 divided by 6 equals 2, 7. Okay? Now, this example has shown us the division is repeated subtraction. Wherein a lot of in the division is as repeated subtraction. Also, subtraction will be very important in the division strategy we will work on today. We will start learning this strategy in the activity partial quotients algorithm under build part page 312. The word partial here, yani e partial, partial yani part. And that means we will solve the problems in parts. The example we have here is 897 divided by 4. Tarun Yeah, let's write this example all together. Here I have 897 divided by 4. 897 divided by 4. Now we can notice here the problem is written in a different way. It is written in this way. I will write the problem like you see here. 897, here is the 4. As you see, the dividend 897 goes under the line and the divisor goes to the left of the symbol. Let's see how we can solve this problem. Awil Hager will start with the first digit to the left. Ilhoa e, ilhoa eight. This is the first digit to the left. So ask yourself, how the value of ta eight is what? Yes, kulin arfin in the value of this eight is eight hundred, right? Type and then ask yourself again. Here eight hundred multiple of four. Do you know a number when I multiply by four get four hundred uh, eight hundred? Yani 4 times what equals 800? Yes, from the patterns of multiplying by 10, 100, 1000, we know what? We know that 2 times 4 gives me 8. 2 times 4 equals 8. And 20 times 4 equals 80. And 200 times 4 equals 800. Right? So, Demane e, demane in 800 divided by 4 equals to 200.
right? 800 divided by 4 equals to 200. طب هكتب ال 200 فين؟ هكتب ال 200 as part of the quotient on the right side of the line. So I will write the 200 here on the right side. طيب this side I will write the quotient. This side I will write all the parts of the quotients. Now then we will write the product of 200 times 4. 200 times 4 gives me what? Yes, list I lean 200 times 4 equals 800. I will write it under the dividend here. Okay? I will write here 800. By kid hamil e hamil subtract. I'll subtract 800 from 897. So the answer will be, of course, 97. This is the first step. Then what should I do? I will this will be the dividend. Okay, now in 97 the dividend bti. I will start another step. Hamil A, ask yourself the same question. Here 97 multiple of 4. Is 97 multiple of 4? Of course, no. Who fi a number? Hamil times 4 gives me 97? No. I cannot find any number times 4 gives me 97. We can think of 40 as it is. Mish 4 times 10 equals 80. Right? 4 times 10 equals, sorry, 40. Tay, we can think of 80. Because 20 times 4 gives me 80. You can choose the multiple you see is the correct one. Now let's try solving it by using number 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Right? So I will write 10 under the 200 i will write 10 here okay then what should i do i will write 40 under the dividend 10 times 4 40 so i will write here 40. and then the next step i will subtract the two numbers so the answer will be 57. then what should i do i will use 40 one more time 40 40 divided by 4 is 10, so I will write 10 as a part of the quotient, right? We have to be 40 fain. Of course, I will write the 40 here under the dividend. Then what should I do? I will subtract these two numbers to get 17 here. Okay, then do you think 17 is multiple of 4? Ask your, uh, yourself the same question. Hey, 17 multiple of 4? Type hey, 17 is very close. La, and I see multiple very close to 17, but less than 17. Type hey, eight multiples of four. Yes, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Type eight other multiple was smaller or less than 17. Yes, of course, it is number 16, right? So I will write 16 under the 17. Okay, and what? Where, what should I write here in the quotient? I will write 4 because 4 times 4 gives me 16. Okay, then I will subtract these two numbers, 17 minus 16, the answer will be 1. We, as we see 1, it is less than the divisor which is 8. From 1, I eliminate 8, so this is the remainder. The problem is now solved and I have finished this problem. طيب تعالوا نشوف بقى ال quotient from all the numbers on the right side اللي هما ايه؟ اللي هما 200 و 10 و another 10 and 4 so when I add these uh, four numbers the answer will be 224 if I add 200 plus 10 plus 10 plus 4 so my quotient is 224 and what about the remainder? Yes, don't forget to put the remainder. Here I have remainder 1, 224, and remainder 1. There is something important here I need to, you to notice. We have remainder, so the dividend, which is 897, is not multiple of the 4, right? Madam and the remainder, you have a number, the dividend, not multiple of 4. Now we have four division problems and we will solve them using the same steps. Let's see it all together on the board. Now here in problem number one, the numbers are similar to the example we have just finished. 
so you can solve it on your own way. And now let's solve problem number two altogether. Here's problem number two, as you see. Type, he wants me to divide 590 by 5. We'll start by looking at the first number to the left. اللي هو إيه؟ اللي هو 500 as you see here and divide it by 5 type ask yourself هو 500 multiple of 5 yes of course 500 multiple of 5 هو مش أنا لو قلت 5 times 100 equals 500 so 500 divided by 5 is 100 طيب هكتب ال 100 فين yes I will write it on the right side okay يبقى I will write here 100. Then what should I do? Yes, 100 times 5 gives me 500. So I will write the 500 under the 590. Then I will subtract these two numbers. 590 minus 500 equals, of course, 90. Then what should I do? Ask yourself, here 90 multiple of 5? Yes, of course, 90 multiple of 5. Why? Because 5, the digit in the ones place is 0 or 5. When 90, the ones place is 0, it's a multiple of 5. So it will be very easy for, uh, for me to know. 5 times what gives me 90? Okay, is it easy for you? No, it's very difficult, right? So we will choose another multiple of 5 less than 90. هختار إيه؟ هختار 50. Why? Because 50 times 10 gives me 5 times 10 gives me 50. Type, how to be 50 fin? I will write the 50 under the 90. I will write 50 here. Then what should I do? I will subtract these two numbers. Right? Okay. So, 90 minus 50 equals what? Equals 40. Okay. And then we will divide 40 by 5. Hamil 40 divided by 5. That's... 40 divided by 5 equals what? مش احنا عارفين ان 5 times 8 gives me 40. So, I will write the 8 under the quotients, right? يبقى هكتب here, 8. Then, what should I do? 40, 8 times 5 gives me 40, right? يبقى I will subtract 40 from the another 40. The answer will be what? The answer will be 0. Now to find the quotient, I will add all the numbers on the right. الهم إيه؟ الهم 100 and 10 and 8. When I add 100 plus 10 plus 8, the answer will be what? Of course, my quotient is equals to 118. And this is my answer. Now let's move to problem number 3. Here's problem number 3. I want to divide 1216 divided by 3. يبقى هعمل إيه؟ Yes, I will decompose 1216 to find a multiple of 3. طيب, you can take 300. Why? Because 3 times 100 gives me 300. ممكن أقول كمان 600. Because 3 times 200 gives me 600. وكمان ممكن أختار 900. Because 3 times 300 gives me 900. Now we can choose in 900 to be multiple of 3. Yep, the quotient will be what? The quotient will be 300. هكتبو فين? هكتبو at the right side here. Okay? Now, if I multiply 300 times 3, the answer is 900. So I will write the 900 under the dividend. I will write 900 here. And then I will do subtraction. Okay, as you see here, 900. And I will do subtraction. You have 1216 minus 900. The answer will be what? The answer will be 1300, sorry, and 16. Then we need to think here 316 multiple of 3. Okay, type. Tell us, Shufkid. Now we can take 300, right? As the answer. Okay? Then what should I do? I will write the 100 as a part of a quotient. So I will write here 100. Then what should I do? And I will write 300 under the dividend. As 100 times 3 gives me 300. Yeah, but I will write 300 here and 100 in the quotient. 
Then I will subtract 316 minus 300. The answer will be what? Yes, the answer will be 16. Okay, then what should I do? Ask yourself, hey, 16 multiple of 3? 16 multiple of 3? Of course, no. 16 not multiple of 3. That the way I will multiple of 3 close to 16 and less than it. Hachtar e, of course, hachtar 15. Why? Because 3 times 5 gives me 15, right? Type, what should I write in the quotient? Yes, I will write 5 in the quotient. So I will write 5 here as part of the quotient. We have to be 15 fin under the dividend. But in Hamil e, Hamil subtraction. Of course, 16 minus 15, the answer will be 1. This will be my remainder. Type. Now to find the quotient, what should I do? I will add all the numbers at the right side. Layer 300, 100, and 5. Right? Now we will make addition. 300 plus 100 plus 5. The quotient or my answer will be 405. Only, no, don't forget that we have remainder which is 1. Yep, the answer 405 and remainder 1. Okay, now I'll give you time to answer problem number 4 to practice the new way we have learned today to solve the division problems. Today, we have learned how to use the partial quotient algorithm and in the previous lesson, Kamene Talimna how to use the area model for division. Let's now use our knowledge about these two strategies and check the division problem under Connect, page 313 in your school book. Let's move to this page. Okay, and this is the Connect part. Now I'll give you time to check the two ways used to solve the problem and find the similarities with differences between the two ways. And when we are back, we will discuss your answers all together. And now when I asked the group of my students this question under Connect, had the few whom Ali that the two ways are similar. Ali fallen in two ways Zayibat. Why? Because they both used the multiplication facts with many patterns with zero. The similarities in both used the multiplication facts. Facts and patterns. Okay? Type zil hagat al zay baad fil two ways. Okay? We can mean elu in both ways the dividend could be decomposed in any way we like, and we should add all the partial quotients as an R of the final quotient. Okay? Type. The strategies are different because what? Tab huma مختلفين في إيه. The two strategies مختلفين في إيه. Because the area model من استخدام multiplication and addition. Okay? In the area model, as you see here, من استخدام multiplication and addition. طيب what about the partial quotient model? The partial quotient model بستخدم the multiplication and subtraction. هو ده الفرق ما بين the two strategies. These strategies will help us to solve different division problems like the problems under the practice part. Here there will be a uh, there you will find a group of division problems to solve using the partial quotient algorithm. Now let's see problem number one. Here in problem number one says that the owner of a fruit market has 480 cups and 480 cups. He wants the cups, these cups to last for three months. Okay, to last for three months. How many cups should he plan to use each month? I start them at the eight cups each month. We need to divide what? Yes, of course, the biggest number of all the cups is 480 by three. So, 480 is the dividend, while 3 is the divisor. Okay, so, this is the dividend, which is 480, and this is the divisor, which is 3. Then, what should I do? Yes, I will write the dividend under the line and 3 on the left side. 
We will start with the first number to the left, اللي هو إيه 400. طيب ask yourself هي 400 multiple of 3؟ Of course no, it's not multiple of 3. طب تعالوا نفكر في multiple of 3 close to 400 and less than it. زي إيه؟ Of course, the easiest multiple of 3 close to 400 and less than it is 300. Why? Because 3 times 100 gives me 300, right? طيب هكتب ال100 فين؟ The 100 is a part of the quotient, so I will write here on the right side. طيب as we said, 100 times 3 equals 300, so I will write the 300 here. Then the next step, I will subtract these two numbers. هعمل 480 minus 300. The answer will be what? The answer will be 180. طيب what is the next step? Yes, I will divide now 180 divided by 3. Ask yourself, هي 180 دي multiple of 3? From the sign table, we know that 3 times 6 equals 18. صح؟ كلنا عارفين 3 times 6 equals 18. And look here, I have 180. Now we know about the patterns with 0. عرفنا خلاص إن 180 is multiple of 3. Type 3 times what equals 180? Of course, 3 times 60 equals to 180, right? So, 60D is part of the quotient. That's why I will write here on the right side. Again, 60 times 3 equals what? Equals 180. So, I will write here 180, subtract both numbers to get 0. Type. Now I want to find the quotient. What is the quotient? The quotient, I will add these numbers on the right side. So, 100 plus 60 equals what? Equals 160. And this is my answer. This is the end of our lesson. And today we have learned a new strategy for division, which is called the partial quotient algorithm. In the previous lesson, we learned how to use the area model for division. As we have learned more than one way to solve the multiplication problems, in coming lessons, we will learn new strategies to solve division problems. And now, if you need to have more and more practice to check your understanding, you can scan the QR code shown here on page 311 to have access to more problems. Thank you so much for your watching and see you soon.